Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Hand of Fate. A two. Look at how the little bees just slowly spin. Hey. Whoop. Should I go here? Should I go here? That's adorable. All right, well, let's just jump right back in. They place themselves the stranded in noble. While patrolling... I, can't just, I just want to wait to, for him to talk, but I also don't. Become too much. While patrolling the outskirts of West Wind, you hear the clash of steel and the unmistakable groan of corrupted. Your investigation leads you to a distressed nobleman perched on the roof of his carriage. Thank the gods I was heading to tea with the Duke Gibbard, Gilbert when we were ambushed. My footman left me here to fight them off, but the brawl has now dispersed into the forest. The noble peers fearfully at the tree line. If you stay here and protect me, I can pay. Go after the soldiers? What is it? Oh. Let's go after the soldiers, I'm sorry. You rush into the forest and quickly encounter a squad of the Empire soldiers battling the corrupted. Sorry, my man, we need to we need to get as many soldiers as we can. I wonder if they die in here, if they die in real life. If they uh Ooh. It's a dang cool sword. Cardinal Blade, prepared for violence in every major direction. That seems like it was... I don't know if they meant for that to be as funny as it is. But it's, uh... Th that's real good. He... Oh, it's an AoE attack. Okay. Go. Finish him! Oh my goodness, golly hell. I'm liking it. Okay, so we want to be in the center of all of them when we do our big special. In every major direction! And through the head. Yeah, I think from what I remember of the the uh, combat sections of the first one, this does feel a little bit smoother. I like it. I like it. I, it doesn't it doesn't bother me as much as I, I remember it bothering me in the first one. And it's such a it's such a small percentage of the game, actually. It's not like it's half and half or anything. Ooh, ten to max life and ten to temporary life. <laughs> Although the corrupted have been vanquished, no Empire soldiers remain. What? Oh man, I suck. You return to the road and find only the wreckage of a noble's carriage. Oh, <laughs> we uh, we dropped the ball. Your journey through a forest is interrupted by an inquisitive child. Are you searching for the forest folk? My uncle says they used to- What? The, the lemon cake again? My uncle says they used to walk these woods giving out gifts. I want to find one and ask for a lemon cake. Remember if you meet a forest folk, get me a lemon cake. I will find you a dang lemon cake. Maybe we can actually do this correctly. Dead dang it again! Spend hours traveling in circles until night falls, bringing an unnatural silence to the forest. We we messed that up last time. It's a, it's a 1 in 4 chance of losing, and we lost two times in a row. What is that? It's a 1 in 16 chance of that happening. The shopkeeper nods to you as you enter. Adventure, how's the world out there? It's fine. So we have our sword. We could buy a shield. We should probably buy food. We can't. Unless we sell something. Uh, We can... You know what, let's sell the axe, and then we'll sell this regular sword. Maybe we can get a couple things then. Farewell. Is there anything else we can buy that really matters? Can't afford any of that. Should we buy more food? I think we'll probably be fine. We have four spaces right there. Oh, but this might not be the last floor. Atop West Wind Town Hall is a large bell tower. It used to signal the day's end for the workers in the mines and surrounding fields, but now it will summon West Wind's defenders. Do you wish to summon the soldiers you have recruited? Is five enough? Let's do it. 
As night cloaks west when you can sense the corruption rising from the shadows all around you. Survey any soldiers you manage to recruit. Gathered a large group of soldiers to defend the town. Here's hoping you won't need any more. You must survive till morning when Imperial enforcements will arrive. Give him a rousing speech, of course. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Soldiers appear unmoved. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like it affected them negatively. It just didn't affect them positively. Well, that sucks. But we'll be fine. We got a lot of health. Ooh -wee. Oh my god, look at that boy! As the final vestiges of humanity are erased, the terror wakes. Use Bash to break the terror's corrupted armor and defeat it with Finisher before it regenerates. What is Bash? Is Bash my, uh... Oh, that's... Ah! Okay. This is... Uh, come on, stop it! Okay. So we have to do our, our middle mouse button after a hit to Bash? Ah! Let's just... Oh, come on. Let's just get our combo going. Let's get up to get up to ten. He all directions. Finish them off. Oh my god. Okay, there oh god. Oh! Ooh! Stick it in his back! Oh my god. Okay, let's just, uh... Did we get all the ads? We did get all the ads. Chop. Bash. Chop. Bash. Can we bash just continually? Oh, we can. I thought we had to chop first. Whoop! Ah! That did nothing. Well, this should get him. That wasn't too bad. We didn't need any more soldiers. Not at all. Holy! Once the corrupted behemoth, behemoth, behemoth falls. Does it satisfy you? Shh, shh. This bloodshed. Shh. Knowing those you destroy Come were once simple peasants. Nah. About their day. Don't infect me one bit. Once the corrupted behemoth falls, the rest of the minions flee. Their spirits broke, and the soldiers erupt in cheers. Praising your valor, you can rest until morning, ready to greet the reinforcements with a town already saved. The magician! Returns to the deck. But Let's see what we got. Our of I don't know what any of it will really be. Winter's Bane. Man-eating tree! So we don't get any other uh, followers. That's okay. All right, let's go construct a new deck. You will find more options open to you. Oh, okay, so we can pick any of these. Take the time to explore the board. I like to go in in rows. Let's do the recommended and then, and then work from there. Okay, it just recommends the same things. But you know what? Let's uh let's do the same thing. Let's get rid of all the ones that we know. And pick all the ones that are new. Oh, we can't pick all the new ones. There. Okay. That's good enough. We'll just pick new ones just to figure out what they are. Winter's Bane. What is this one? Oh, we don't know. Let's get rid of both of those. Oops. Nope. There. Okay. Let's give that a shot. All right. You find yourself once again in the company of prayer and religion. <laughs> How unfortunate. Okay. The high priestess. 
Oh my god. Malaclips has somehow roped you into traveling deep into the far north of a dip on a diplomatic mission. Well, I usually refrain from working for the Empire. Since this one takes me further away from it, I have made an exception. I'll square my debt with the General Brandstorm and help open many doors for you. What do you say? Sure. Excellent. Bring your sword and let me do the talking, says Malaclips. I brought plenty of supplies so we can set up camp when we get hungry. Oh, boy. Malclips shares a tidbit as you commence your journey. The High Priestess is quite partial to blessings. If you can prove yourself worthy, we'd have a better chance of swaying her in our favor. Collect at least six blessings before meeting the High Priest. You grit your teeth and begin the ascent. Not every temple has crumbled into the dust. More's the six pity. gold. Provides blessings in exchange for a simple gold donation. Yeah, why not? Beggar's char- I don't know what any of this is. Gold zealot. Gambler's- Hmm. Oh. Plus 15 life for every gold gain card. If your max life is less than 150, you may discard food gain or equipment gain. No. Pocket up, gain up to 20 gold at the beginning of a new map if you have less than 20 gold. That might be an interesting idea. Part of combat with two or more monsters, optionally discard a basic monster card, but lose your companion. No. Let's actually go with the Vegas Charm, since we just since we just gave up a lot of our money. We can probably, uh... You leave with your new blessing. We can probably get some pretty good benefit out of that. Treat those who feed you. With respect. Even I stand by this rule, and I have respect for few. You chance upon a wooden cart, overflowing with pears, pies, and many items otherwise. Oh, and a wonderful smell wafts from the cart. Malcolm shakes his head. Poor old Chester, this is why you should never be seduced by the wiles of women. Coin slave. They'll break your heart and leave you selling your lemon tarts with little business sense. The old farmer hawks his wares to pass her by. Tarts, pies, and exotic lies. Chester nods glumly at your approach. What would you like to buy on this terribly dreary morning? What's exotic lies? He passes you a bag of luminous blue apples. Have you ever felt the feeling of your heart being torn from your chest? I have. Chester stares so for so forlornly at your at you that you are forced to comfort him before the transaction can proceed. Chester stares in a kind of wistful gloom at the exotic fruits for a while before he finally decides on a price. Oh. Oh. Oh! Nope. Chester seems strangely affronted at this. He takes the fruit from your hands and coldly asks you to leave. I can't, I mean, I can't afford it. What a rude guy. Ooh! Even in the worst of storms. Ooh! With a little warning, a snowstorm sweeps in from the north. The snow whips against you like shards of glass and obscures your vision. You struggle to find cover. Huge failure. Oh. Yes! You, the climb becomes unbearable. You seek shelter in a cave and desperately fight off the onset of frostbite. When the howling winds ease, you clear the snow from the cave entrance to discover the dark clouds have passed. Malchus forges for firewood, saying, The log is dry enough. We can set up camp here for the night. Access to the campfire at any time between encounters can be used to consume food, trade, or review your mission. Oh. Campfires will always offer I come in peace, oops. Peace. He says, I but make the pilgrimage also... to the high priestess. I mean you no harm. Without waiting for approval, he slumps down beside you and warms his hand by the fire. Change appearance. What does trading do? Ooh, I wish. Okay, we can probably... Let's break the camp for now. You sleep through the long, cold night. In the morning, you pack your things and continue your climb up the mountain. Uh-oh. High on a misty mountain top, you discover a vicious-looking plant. Two wonders still remain. Treat it gently. 
Its gaping mouth looks more than capable of shredding you to pieces, but at its base you notice some unusual fruit. If you throw something, you may be able to distract the savage mouth, thus allowing you to steal some fruit. With nothing suitable on your person, you begin to search the area for a rock or a branch. Eventually you find one, but are unable to retrace your steps through the mist back to the plant. Okay. A grand opportunity for you to take whatever pleases you. Oh, I wish. And go about your day. I can't. I don't got money. The mountain itself. A sudden blizzard slows your progress through Mount Freitas. The bitter winds pierce your skin like shards of glass. They already used that analogy. Boom. I will tolerate. They have at least stepped into the street. As you ascend the snowy mountain, oh. As you ascend the snowy Mount Freitas, you happen upon a cottage with a pungent smoke walking at, wafting out of the chimney. A frail old lady sweeping snow off the path beckons you to come in. We have come in search of the great high priestess to deliver an important message. It says, wait, it says Malaclips. Oops. You better go bearing blessings if you want to get on the high priestess good sides. I'm fixing a batch right now if you'd like a taste. If I got it right this time, you can take it to her, she says, stirring the cauldron. Malaclips politely declines. I've been watching what I eat, but my companion here has an insatiable appetite, he says, nudging you forward. Oh. Oh. Deft eye. What is that? Reduce the speed of a wheel gambit. Okay. You take a sip of the aromatic potion and feel warm, fuzzy feeling flowing through your body. Looks like my recipe is a success. I'm sure the high priestess will appreciate this one. You thank the old lady and continue up Mount Freitas, paying no heed to the brewing blizzard. God dang it. See? Paying no attention to the brewing blizzard. These mountains together, even through the worst. With little warning, a snowstorm sweeps. Struggle to find cover. Sa same thing. We don't need to read it again. Yay! We did it again. Yeah, I feel like we... Yeah, if, if it's the same card, I feel like we don't have to read it again. Oh, no. High up on the mountain, you see the silhouette of a man approaching through the heavy snow. He bellows through the roaring wind. Shh. Who dares trespass in the sacred grounds of our priestess? Oh. Hidden raiders spring down the mountain with the dexterity of mountain goats. With the dexterity of mountain goats? <laughs> I don't know why that... That's a, that's a good one. Ooh, we actually are in a different area. They look like mountain goats, too. From the frozen darkness of the far north they come, northerners can perform combo attacks, use your post with single-handed weapons to deal extra damage immediately after you defend. Oh, no, that guy's got a... Ugh, Ebola! Come on. Come on. I... Oh, I thought I lost my combo when I... I thought you lose your combo when you get hit. Guess not. Ah! Dodged it. Ah! Okay, so the bash doesn't do anything to these guys. And it looks like we, we do turn invincible once we uh, are using our special. Get back here! You baby! And you should be dead, right? Nah. <laughs> Probably should have got this guy first. He's just kind of annoying. Ah, oh, man, I thought he... Why did I think he could only use the bola? Bye! Night to night! Stinker. Ooh, Winter's Bane. We were going to buy that. A potion. The clash of steel rings out, echoing through the peaks. The mountains answer with a low, ominous rumble as a wall of white rushes with towards the melee, sweeping away everything in its path. Oh, hopefully not me. Holy roly. <laughs> Never saying that again. You seek shelter against the bluff pressing close to the rock face as the avalanche roars ahead. 
When the trembling stops, you are miraculously unscathed. Your assailant's weapon just juts from the snow as you hear... As you near you, he realize it's still clenched in his hand, his body buried to the wrist by the avalanche. I'll just take, I'll just take the weapon. Ooh, let's get the card. Oh no, I want to I wanna do the other thing. Pry the weapon from the frozen hand and continue up the mountain before the raider has a chance to free himself. I feel a little bad. What's the winter's bane? What's the difference? We'll, we'll try it out. We'll find out. God darn! Once again, we don't need to read this one. We'll just uh, give it a, our best. No! Huge failure! Oh, 10 is, 10 is a huge failure. You are alerted to the sound of shuffling footsteps. You can barely make out the silhouettes of menacing figures who have invaded your shelter. Go! Nab it! They're not the sort you want to be in such close quarters with. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Frost Berserker, with the speed and elegance of a mountain goat. Whoa, look at them! Fueled with rage and determined to destroy, Berserker weapons are imbued with ice that slows the, their attacks, their enemies' movement and attacks. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna really want to parry these then. Yeah! Hui! Ha! Okay. What did that special even do? It's hard to tell. We haven't been hit yet. We haven't lost our little shield. Okay, we just lost our little shield. Who? Just does a lot of damage. Maybe it immediately makes it so they can be uh, finished off. So far, I've only used on somebody who I think is already almost finished off. Anyways. So let's do it on you. I missed. No, I didn't miss. I think that's what it is. I think it immediately makes it so they can be finished off. Maybe if they're uh, under a certain amount of max health or something. I love how his helmet f flew off. That's kind of nice. Eh. Huge failure. T yeah, it turned out fine. The log is dry enough. He said, I can't put it on the door. On, despite nature itself, I guess we'll walk. just keep on ascending. Like, I, I need to have six blessings by the tippy top. Old riches. There we go. Further up the mountain, the blizzard becomes so intense you barely see the tiny cottage engulfed in snow. And old, old baby, lady, lady, lady beckons you in. I've received word from my sister's hawk that and have been expecting you. I may not be as skilled as her, but the blessings potion I've whipped up is my best yet. You think it's good enough to take to the high priestess, she says, blowing the steam off the shimmering bowl of thick liquid. I really couldn't, says Malaclips, patting his belly. Oh, God. Yeah! Score the exact target value in a dice gamut to draw two equipment cards. Interesting. Take a sip of the aromatic potion and feel a warm, fuzzy feeling flowing through, through your body. Looks like my recipe is a success. I'm sure the high priestess will appreciate this one. You thank the old lady and continue up the Mount Freitas, paying no heed to the brewing blizzard. I wish we could have spent some money. Oh my god, the blizzard! All the time, please, just no critical failure. That's all. That's all I ask. Okay. The climb becomes unbearable. You seek shelter in a cave. Yes, we've done that plenty. Lost boy. He's just a small child, you over here. A deeper voice growls. We have to take him to the dungeons, or else he'll run straight to whatever northern clan he spawned from and show them where our outpost is. That's a shifty-looking kid. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him, says Malaclips. Cons you consider the boy's fate. Save the boy. We only have one option. Unsheathing your weapon, you demand they let the boy go. The Empire soldiers are unmoved by your threat. What? Save the boy! Save the world! He's just a, a weird, pointy-haired boy. Don't just leave him alone. Just because he's ugly and worthless doesn't mean 
<laughs> well, the expansion of the empire requires constant conscription of new blood. Soldiers block all attacks, greatly reducing their damage. Use bash to open them up. Once again, good intentions and huh? Okay. Bash! Bash! No! God! This sucks. I hate fighting these guys. How many attacks can we get in before they start blocking? Three, it looks like. No, we can't instantly- Oh, we can't instantly knock him down. I guess it was just the- Coincidentally, the correct amount of, uh, damage to do before. These guys are healthy, guys. Let's get Musket Man. Okay, heat da. Oh, we lost our, uh, we lost our special attack. God, they're so long ranged. We're gonna die, aren't we? We're not gonna, ah, uh, we're not gonna die, but we're not doing great. Yeah, stop it with the musket from forever away. I'm still, like, I'm still getting used to the, there's three different reactionary buttons. There's a, a parry, a, whoop, a parry, a bash, and a dodge roll. Okay, here we go. One left. I should have got the musket guys right away. Bye bye Whoop! My bad! Oh my god. Clip through the tree. Give me a blessing, lost boy. Heal me up, lost boy. Grant me your blood. As you check on the unconscious guards, you notice the boy looking at you warily, as if sizing you up. Hey, ah! Uh, that's not good. You can only reroll. The boy kills ya! The boy disappears into the forest, and as soon as you hear him howl for a short, from a short distance, the raiders come out of hiding, and the boy shouts, Their outpost is that way! Eh, I'll just be allow, allow the raiders to attack. See you later. I've had enough. I, I, I'm close to dying. I just can't. Wandered endless intersections, yet this one sticks with you. Why? What is it in your memory that catches here? Huh? So just reveal the spot, is that all? Detailing the possible path north and south. Malaclip sniffs the air. My magical senses are pulling me towards the north. It smells like someone's baking a cinnamon pie. Okay. Is this the north? This looks like it looks like this is the south, but whatever. The very land. High up the mountain, you see the silhouette of a man approaching through the heavy snow. He bellows in roaring winds. Who dares trespass in the sacred grounds of our priestess? Oh, man. The dexterity of mountain goats. All right. I mean, I'm going to... I mean, this episode's running real long, but I'm just going to finish this one off because I don't think there's a way to save in between. So we'll just have a... We'll have a big old chunky episode today. On a frozen plain, prey are few and far between. The keen eyes of a trapper see all. Trappers throw hunting traps that snare their targets. Use evade to avoid the traps or change direction rapidly to break free. Okay, we yeah, we will go. We'll go for the the bola boys. Oh, did that not work? Bola boy, bola boy. Nope. Okay, so both uh, both of them are done. Should make fighting these guys a lot more more simple. I should really be parrying, but it that uh, roll didn't work there. Oh my goodness, we're getting low. There we go. Okay, we got we got a shield for one second here, or not one second, but until we get hit, which might be one second. 
Nope. Nope. I like how they just, like, melt. All right. Give me a blessing. I deserve it. Eat less. Every third step does not consume food. Plus one to weapon charge. I don't want to... I don't, know. I don't want to reduce my movement speed, but I will. A shield in more ways than one. I need healing. The clash of steel rings out. I come through the peaks. We already saw this. Hey! Ooh! Don't we get equipment or something? Yeah, we do. Oh shoot! I didn't get a read what that was. We'll we'll take a look at our equipment in a second. Yeah, we looked at this already. Let's retrieve the weapon. Oh, we shouldn't actually. We got a lot of stuff we could sell. Alright. Ruby ring, what does it do? 10 max life when you have more blessings than curses. I think we do. Can't equip. Oh, it's because we have our shield on. Let's get our... There. Okay. These are the Papa Plague. The town crier announces the Empire seeks mercenaries to join the battle against corruption. You seek out the watchtower where recruitment is taking place. You arrive in time to hear Sir Malifowl's plan to wipe out the Poppers District. The outbreak began there, and we cannot risk sparing any of their lives. No. Your refusal does not sit well with the Imperial soldiers. Traitor, one of the soldiers shouts. Oh my goodness. We don't have, like, we don't have very many, um, blessings yet. We only got three, right? A lot of ways to go. And we're getting fights left and right. Taken from the dregs of so dread dregs whoops, of society, elevated to petty positions of power. Watchmen can block. Greatly reducing. I hate the block. Does anyone not have block? Uh, we might just die, though, is the thing. Heave up! Oh, shoot, it's left shift, not left control. Call! Come on! We're gonna. We we really might die here. Come on, come back. Yeah! Ah! Okay, just keep going. Get my combo. I want to get over there to get my buff if I can. One down. Is it seriously? Did I only get one seriously so far? That doesn't sound right. Unless maybe my pal got one. Who? Oh. Activate crazy mode! Yeah! <laughs> oh, we did good. We did good. Right near the end, we did good. We only have two of six blessings acquired. That sucks. You spot... We, we lost one because of the rolled that number. Spot a peasant woman with a child hiding behind some barrels. You lead them past the wall, past gatekeepers who look pointedly in the other direction. Bless your heart. Please accept this as a token of our appreciation. We got two fame. Blessed Summit. Oh, this is, that, I don't think it's going to go well. The winds clear the dark clouds to reveal the spire of a ritual house protruding from the summit. You are you press on through thick snow to find the wooden structure adorned with spoils of war. As you enter the great hall, the towering arched doors swing open with a heavy crack. A giantess with giantess with velvet robes enters accompanied by raiders. Malaclips bows low to the ground. 
My companion and I have been sent forth to discuss the truce between the Empire and Northerners, my lady. So, they send me a silver-tongued devil and his mercenary, she smirks. I hope for your sake you have a decent offering. We failed to win the gold. To oh, we just, it's to win the gold token. That's fine. That's fine. We'll come back. You still have a chance to defeat this mission. Oh. If imperfect. Oh. Ah. Ah. Combat solved. So what? It has ended this, however. I don't. What? Is that because we didn't have enough blessings? We took a lot of damage, or why did we take that much damage? That sucks. All of that work for naught. Well, we'll come back. We'll finish it next time. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I greatly appreciate any all support you wish to leave on this series up to this point. If you want to see more, let me know in the form of a comment. Subscribe if you're new and you want to be up. Uh, get notifications, get updated when more of this comes out. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.